Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at verb patterns. Verb plus ing verb, or two verbs. So what are verb patterns? Sometimes, in a sentence, one verb follows another. In sentences like these, there are different possible patterns. A. Verb plus ing verb. He likes swimming, for example. B. Verb plus to verb. He forgot to call you last night. C. Verb plus bear infinitive. He can play soccer well. D. Verb plus ing verb or to. He remembered to call me. Or he remembered talking to her. So let's start with A. Pattern A. Verbs followed by ing verbs. These verbs take ing verbs. Hate, imagine, need, like, love, prefer, star, enjoy, etc. However, in North America, some of these verbs can also be used with to. I hate exercising. I hate to exercise. He loves swimming. He loves to swim. They prefer flying. They prefer to fly. Some may argue that uh, there is a subtle change in meaning, but let's not get into that. So these are verbs that follow ing verbs. Acknowledge, delay, excuse, mind, recall, admit, deny, fancy, in the UK, miss, recollect, etc. Group B, full infinitive, two verbs. The full infinitive or the infinitive of a verb is the basic form of the verb. There are two forms of infinitives, like in the examples, swim, leave, eat and play, these are called bear infinitive. If you add to, to swim, to leave, to eat, to play, these are called full infinitive. Okay, full infinitives can be placed after adjectives. Examples. I am happy to see my friends. So happy is the adjective. To see is the verb, the full infinitive verb. We were surprised to get first place. Surprised is the, is the adjective and then to get is the verb, full infinitive verb. The same with they are sad to leave their country. These are verbs followed by full infinitives. Afford, choose, hurry, pay, seem, agree, consent, intend, plan, and want, etc. Group C. Infinitives and modals. The modal verbs are, these are just some, can, could, have to, must, might, should, ought to. These verbs always take the bare infinitive. Bear means without, too. We mustn't be late for class. We can sing well. So no, too. So D. Verbs followed by ing verbs or full, in, uh, full infinitive verbs. These verbs are followed by ing and to. For example, remember, stop, forget, etc. But the meaning changes if the ver verb is followed by a full infinitive or an ing verb. So pay close attention. Let's take a look at these examples. Number one, Frank remembered mailing the letter. Frank had a memory that he mailed the letter. He saw it in his mind. Instead, if we use remembered to, like Frank 
remembered to mail the letter. This means that first he remembered that he needed to mail the letter. Then he did it. He mailed the letter. He didn't forget to mail the letter. Let's take a look at another example. Sonia stopped eating ice cream. She doesn't eat ice cream anymore. This is what it means. Instead, if I say, Sonia stopped to eat ice cream. This means that she stopped another activity she was doing to eat ice cream. Number five, Jane forgot meeting John. Jane met John, but afterwards she didn't remember that. Instead, if I said, Jane forgot to meet John, this means that Jane had planned to meet John, but she didn't meet him because she forgot about the plan. So, how do we learn them? One of the best ways to start learning these patterns in a natural way is by having more exposure to the language and by learning them in groups. Another way could be by creating your own sentence. Like this example. I like listening to music on the radio when I drive. Start listening carefully to podcasts or movies and maximize your learning with practice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Then like, just click like the like button. Thank you. And then share the lesson if you liked it. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.